the new Jake Paul documentary on Netflix. Another perfect example of how out of touch Netflix is. Yeah, apparently you're doing a Jake Paul documentary called Untold Jake Paul, The Problem Child. That's so ridiculously dumb. I cannot imagine even his own fans will watch this. I just can't. I really can't. Because it's fucking boring. Who the fuck is going to turn on Netflix and be like, I want to learn about Jake Paul. The guy who vlogged every single second of his entire goddamn life. I need to know more about Jake Paul. Like, have him do... Like, if you're going to make a Jake Paul show, have him do something. Blow up some cars. Fucking send him to an underground fight club arena. The guy is a psychopath. Like, have him do crazy shit. Instead of just tell his life story that everybody already knows. And then call the fucking wambulance about people not liking him. It's just such... It's so simple. They don't get it. Netflix is so out of touch. It's crazy. Like, who the fuck cares? Have them do something interesting for the show. So would you make a show out of? If I was tasked to make a Jake Paul show, I'd have this fucking goofball doing stupid odd jobs. I think that'd be interesting. Have him, like, train for Cirque du Soleil and put him in an actual performance and see if he tanks the entire fucking thing. Like, give him something to do to make actual entertainment as opposed to just have him sit down in front of a camera like, half fucking lobotomized to tell a dumb story nobody cares about, everybody already knows, where he orders some goddamn French cries whining about why people don't like him and he's the problem child. That's lame. That's fucking lame. Have him work in a high pressure place that has to be, that has to be nice, like a waiter. Okay, a bit of a silly idea, but like your heart's in the right place. Just have him do anything. Just give him shit to do to make an entertaining show. Fucking give him his own Eric Andre show and watch it be an absolute disaster. Even that would still be somewhat entertaining to see how bad it could get. Like, like actually just give him shit to do. It's the exact same thing I said about the quarterback show, where they just sit quarterbacks down to interview them, I guess. That's boring. No one's going to turn on Netflix to learn about fucking Jake Paul's life that they already know. I just don't, I don't know what's, what Netflix doesn't get about it. It's so simple. It's so simple. And yes, Wavy. Dirt cheap to produce. Yeah, but you're going to get nothing out of it. And it's not going to be that cheap. You think Jake Paul did this for cheap? One of the greediest men on the planet? You think he did this Netflix deal for cheap? Hell no. Hell no. Things are some crabby. Things are some wet. Cheaper than buying him an Eric Andre type show. Just an example. It'd be extremely cheap just to give him stupid little odd jobs to do that would be very entertaining. As opposed to just have him sit down and tell a story. I think the bit's waffle. I 
why do people care so much? Nobody cares. This is going to be a massive fucking flop. Nobody cares. That's the point. <laughs> that, that's the point I'm making. Netflix is so lost. It just produces trash. And then occasionally gets lucky with like one good thing that comes out. He's a bit swavy, beast, and wumbo. And yeah, I saw the new Armored Core trailer. It looked cool. And we yeah, we talked about the SpongeBob stuff. He's a tier one medal. It was alright, Waffles. Do you think they'll make something with other creators? They already have multiple times, and they all flop. Miranda Sings has a show on here. I don't know what, when Netflix is going to learn its lesson. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it takes to get the message through. The bits Wumbo and Steve. The new Marvel's trailer just dropped. Nice. How about the new Futurama season? Hope it's good. Uh, the trailer didn't inspire much confidence, but I'm still optimistic it'll be good. Thanks for some flying cat. 